Hey everyone, we're back for part two of our four-part video series. Today we're looking at how a buckle is actually made. I'm just going to switch sides here. So at the moment Greg is actually hand cutting a custom figure. This is something that we really like to do here. It makes a buckle very personal and it works really well for corporate and organizations. This particular one is for the Foothills Fire Department. So one of the reasons I really wanted to show this process is because this is what makes our buckles come out as close to perfect as possible every time we do it, is because we handcraft them step by step. So that means Greg's sitting here with his optimizer on there, you can see, and it's magnified up for him. He can make sure that he's following the lines exactly. To me, this is one of the hardest things we do in the shop. Um, I was training to cut for a while, and let me tell you, it's not easy. So I'm just going to pause the video here and let Greg finish cutting that out, and then we're going to actually solder it on a buckle for you. Okay, we're back here. We've got all our pieces cut out and Greg's got a rope shaped here around the outside of the blank. Once the buckle gets hot, we start to add the solder, which you can see Greg doing here. So when the buckle gets hot enough, that solder just flows right around the outside of the rope. Holds it all together. So I know you've probably heard us talk about it before, but um, all of our buckles are made with solid materials which is the reason why we can apply a torch directly to them and not burn them or blow a hole through them. It's also the main reason why we can offer a lifetime guarantee. So if something goes wrong with any product you purchase from here, uh, you send it back to us and we will repair it, refurbish it, or replace it for the life of your buckle. So as you can see here, it's definitely a skill to learn how to do this. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience to get this going properly and on here. After the rope is soldered on, Greg's going to go ahead and put that figure that we hand cut onto the buckle. Okay, so we've got the rope on the buckle here. Greg's got it up on the stand to make it a little easier to see and work around. Heat comes from the bottom. And he's gonna go ahead and stick that custom crest on there. Heating up the solder that we already have on the back. So we use a really high quality solder on our product. And so once it flows around the outside of this shield, that shield is soldered down really well. There's no corners, there's no edges sticking up, there's nothing to get caught and pulled off. So there we go. That's basically how we make a buckle.